good morning 10th standard students today we will discuss the the girl who is called and frank so in this uh, lesson we will learn how a diary a diary written by a teenager become world famous and uh, and this made so many changes uh, in the minds of uh, the people of uh, different races so this is written by this diary is written by anne frank so who is anne frank and what is diary who was anne frank who was hitler why is it necessary to save a race we will come to know about a sad story of uh, this uh, anne frank uh, who is the author of this uh, diary first uh, we will learn what is a diary in the page number 30 of your book a diary is a record a diary is a record originally in handwritten format with discrete entries arranged by date reporting on what has happened over the course of a day or some other period of time a personal diary may include a person's experience and or thoughts or feelings including comments on current events outside the writer's direct experience some someone who keeps a diary is known as diarist someone who is uh, someone who keeps the who writes the diary is known as diarist a diary is written in the first person only in the first person only it is written and the language used is con conservational friendly and informal language so so this is what is a diary maybe so many of you may be writing the diary so this lesson is about the diary written by a girl of 16 years in the regime of hitler so some of the excerpts from anne frank's diary has been given in your textbook page number 36 just go through it she has written in the first point friday june 12th 1942 amsterdam and frank a dutch jew woke up on her 13th birthday to find a diary among her gifts i don't want to set down a series of bald facts in a diary like most people do but i want this diary itself to be my friend and i shall call my friend a kitty so she has kept a name for her diary and uh, she considered her diary as a, a friend and she has kept a name as kitty the first half of 1943 my first uh, my fits of cry the loneliness how i slowly began to see all my faults and shortcomings which are so great and we seemed much greater than during the day i deliberately talked about anything and everything that was farthest from my thoughts tried to draw pim to me but couldn't alone i had to face the difficult task of changing myself to stop everlasting reproaches which were so oppressive and which reduced me to such terrible despondency so in the second para she has described uh, this is not from the lesson in the page number 36 uh, you will see excerpts from anne frank's diary so it is a direct uh, direct para uh, from her diary which is given here and so she has written about her feelings uh, in the year of 1943 and next uh, margaret and i were this is some one more uh, paragraph from her diary director diary margaret and i were sent out of the room van dan wanted to talk to mummy alone when we were alone together in our bedroom margaret told me that the call up was not for daddy but for her i was more frightened than ever and began to cry margaret is 16 and they really take girls of that age away alone but thank goodness she won't go mummy said so 
herself. That must be that what daddy meant when he, when he talked about us going hiding. So this is a period. She she has written this when Nazi the Hitler's Hitler had um, used to call this uh, this one Jews Jew people one by one from each house and they used to send them to the concentration. A camp. In those camps, they used to kill those uh, people one by one from each family. So, in that process, um, Anne's sister was the first one to be called in their family to be first one to be called for that concentration camp. But they decided that uh, they won't send her. In the next para. And whoever is happy will make others happy too. He who has courage and faith will never perish in misery. So this is what, what is her idea about the life. Whoever is happy will make others happy too. Who, he who has courage, he who has courage and faith will never perish in misery. So who has who, whoever has courage and faith. In the in this life, will never perish and they will never face any misery. Next, she has written her handwriting translator. This is a photo as I wish myself to look all the time when I might have a chance to go to Hollywood. And Frank, tenth October, nineteen forty-two. So she has written here. A photo was given and. Uh, she has written in that uh, this is how she look wanted to look on the time and she had uh, she had the remote wish of uh, uh, going to Hollywood to become an actress. So this is a remote wish she had. She knew that she was beautiful, so she was she had that uh, remote wish of uh, joining the Hollywood. So let's start the lesson. The page number. Seventeen, written by Louis de Louis de Jong. And how do you know that the human race is worth saving? An argumentative young student once asked his professor. This uh, uh, this first uh, two paras is from is a narration uh, where a lecturer was asked about. Uh, and Frank uh, about uh, saving a race, human race. So, as an instance, as an example to his question, the lecturer has uh, said this story. And how do you know that the human race is worth saving? An argumentative young student once asked his professor. So, why it is important to save a human race? Human race means uh, there is Indian race like. Um, Negroes and the Jews, these are the these are all other races. So this has to, should it be saved? How it is important to save save a race? It, this is a question asked by a student to his lecturer in the classroom. Said the professor, I have read Anne Frank's diary. I have read Anne Frank's diary, the direct diary he had read, the lecturer had read. How this diary of a teenage girl came to be written and saved is a story as dramatic as the diary itself. No one foresaw the tremendous impact that the small book would have not even her father who had it published after Anne's death in Nazi's concentration camp. So what has, why he has said this a small diary written by a teenage girl and um, this is very dramatic diary. This was this diary was published by Anne Frank's father, and he himself didn't know that after publishing this diary would become so famous. She died in the Anne Frank died in the Nazis concentration camp. Nazi is the group of um, Hitler who had made it. He was Hitler was against the Jews. As from his childhood, he had bias towards the Jews. So, he wanted to extinguish the Jews' race itself. So, he wants to destroy this Jews' race. Actually, 
Hitler's father was a an Jew. So he was very cruel person. He had ill treated his mother, Hitler's mother. Seeing this, he decided that when he grow up, he will destroy this Jew group itself. And uh, he himself was a, in fact was a Jew. But he hated Jew race. The diary of Anne Frank has now been published in 19 languages including German and has sold nearly 2 million copies. Made into a play by Francis Goodrich and Albert Hackett, it won the Pulitzer Prize for Drama and in the 1956-1957 season alone played in 20 different countries to 2 million people. In London, it, can for, it ran for nearly 6 months at the Phoenix Theatre. 20th century fox turned into fox turned it into a film so this is about the diary this was published in 19 languages 19 languages of the world including german german is the place where hitler ruled including german and has sold nearly 2 million copies 2 million copy is not a small a uh, small number made into play by Francis Goodrich and Albert Hackett. Hack, um, Albert Hackett. So this diary was made into play drama by Francis Goodrich and Albert Hackett, and it has won. This drama has won the Pulitzer Prize for drama. Okay, Pulitzer drama prize. Pulitzer prize was a uh, well-known prize internationally recognized. A prize in the year 1956 and 1957 played in 20 different countries so it, this drama was played in 20 different countries 2 million people have watched this in London it ran for nearly 6 months for 6 months continuously this drama was played in London and uh, it was it was played in Phoenix theatre 20th century fox turned it into a firm. So, in the 20th century, this Anne Frank's, Anne Frank's diary was turned into a film by uh, Century Fox. This is a company, a film making company. So, this was turned into a movie, a film by Century Fox company. And next para. To understand this amazing response, it is necessary first to understand the girl who was Anne Frank. So, who is this Anne Frank? We need to understand. When Hitler came to power, Otto Frank was a banker. Living in Germany, he had married in 1925. In 1926, his first daughter, Margot, was born and three years later, his second, Annelies, Annelies Mary. She was usually called Anne, sometimes tender one. So, Anne Frank's father was Otto Frank. He was actually a banker. He used to live in Germany. He had married in the year 1925. And in the year 1926, um, his first daughter, her name was Margot, was born. And after three years of her first child, that is Margot, and Annelies Mary was born and she was usually called Anne. So, this is Anne. Her original name is Annelies Mary. She was usually called Anne. Sometimes she was also called as tender one. Tender means very soft one. Para number 6. In the autumn of 1933, when Hitler was issuing one anti-Jewish degree after one after another. Otto Frank decided to emigrate to the hospitable Netherlands. He started a small firm in Amsterdam. Shortly before the outbreak of war, he took in a partner, Mr. Van Dan, a fellow refugee. Mostly they traded in spices. Business was also often slow. Once Otto Frank was forced to ask his small staff to accept a temporary cut in their modest wages. 
No one left. They all liked his warm personality. They admired his courage and the evident care he took to give his two girls a good education. So, this is what this para speaks about when the Hitler regime was there. In the 1933, he started issuing anti-Jewish decree, one after another. Anti-Jewish, he wanted to destroy the Jewish race. So, he was issuing one after one anti-Jewish decrees. So, at that time, as he was, Hitler was issuing this anti-Jewish decree, Otto Frank wasn't Jewish. Okay. So, he decided... If we stay in German, we are sure to be get destroyed by this Hitler. So, that is why Otto Frank decided that he will emigrate to the neighboring country, Netherlands. So, it is a hospitable, friendly country. Netherlands is a hospitable, friendly country. That is why Otto Frank decided to emigrate, to shift to Netherlands. He started a small firm in Amsterdam. Amsterdam is a, a place, a city in Netherlands. So, he started a small firm, a company, small firm of spices with his a partner, with a partner where, who, who was, whose name was Mr. Van Dan, a fellow refugee. He too had come from German. So, he too is a, uh, he too is a Jewish and they started, they became friends and they started the business of uh, spices. Most they traded in spices. So, the business was mostly related to spices. Business was often slow. So, the business was often slow because the outbreak of war and all, there was not much business to them. And uh, due to this, uh, he was once uh, forced to cut off uh, the staff, small staff for uh, this one. Salary also he used to cut, but uh, no one uh, left the office, no one left the company. They all liked his warm personality. Why they didn't left? Because they liked the warm personality of Otto Frank. They admired his courage. So, the staff also used to admire his courage and the evident care he took to give his two girls a good education. So, Otto Frank was a very friendly man. His personality was like uh, he, he was admired by all. He was admired by even his uh, staff. Why they admired? The, he encouraged. He had, he, was, he had the courage and uh, he took care of his two girls, two daughters, that is Margot and uh, Anne. And he tried to give them good education. As a people, Anne, as a student, Anne was not particularly brilliant. Most people believed with her parents that Margot, her elder sister, was more promising. Anne was chiefly remarkable for the early interest she took in other people. She was emotional and strong-willed, a real problem child. Her father once told me, a great talker and found of nice clothes. Life in town where she was usually surrounded by a chattering crowd of girlfriends suited her exactly. This was a lucky fact because the Anne Frank family could only rarely afford a holiday nor did they own a car. So what is the seventh para says about her nature, Anne Frank's nature. As, she, as uh, when she was student, she was not that... Uh, brilliant. She was not that smart. Most people believe she was smart but she was not brilliant. Educationally, academically she was not that uh, good. Most people believed with her parents. Most people other than her parents, uh, even other people's people used to believe that uh, she, uh, her sister Margot is more smart than Anne. Anne was chiefly remarkable for the early interest she took in other people. She was like, um, she took more interest in other people's life, other people. She was too, too much interested in talking, chatting, all these things. She was not interested in doing academic studies, all these things. She was not that much interested. 
she was emotional and strong willed she was emotional and uh, but on the other hand she was strong she had a strong will power a real problem child her father used to call her a real problem child a great talker and fond of nice clothes she used to talk too much great talker and she was fond of nice clothes her uh, she used to like nice clothes wearing nice clothes is uh, um, her uh, habit life in town where she was usually surrounded by a chattering crowd of girl friends so in the town amsterdam she used usually surrounded by the girl friend they too are like her own thing they too are chattering box suited her exactly the girls and her nature are almost is same because all of them are chattering box this was a lucky fact because the and frank family could only rarely afford a holiday they rarely afford a holiday as she was busy and she didn't, she didn't take much interest in going around and make picnic and tours these are things these things never interested her as as she was mostly interested in talking chatting mingling with those girls and spending the times and it, and they did not even have car to go around and for picnics and all so this group was an advantageous to otto frank family when the nazis invaded the netherlands in may 1940 the franks were trapped earlier than most jews in amsterdam otto frank realized that the time might come when he and his family would have to go into hiding he decided to hide in his own business office which faced one of amsterdam's tree lined canals a few derelict rooms on the upper floors called the annex were secretly prepared to house both the frank and the van den families so in the 1940 may 1940 so nazis invaded the uh, netherlands and uh, frank's family were also trapped other than the other families uh, and frank uh, the frank's family was trapped they were uh, trapped by this uh, nazi um, nazi soldiers earlier than most jews in amsterdam so other than uh, there were other jews also but uh, they this family frank family was trapped uh, very early otto frank so realizing the threat realizing the danger from the um, nazi so he decided so this is the time best that i should go my family and the other family van den's family should go hiding they should hide he decided to hide in his own business office so they decided not going anywhere else but they decided to hide in the business place the company only they wanted to hide so decided to hide which face which which face one of amsterdam's tree lined canals there were tree lined canals in that um, company a few derelict rooms on the upper part upper part of uh, um, the premises uh, had two rooms a few rooms not two rooms few rooms uh, that is called an ex extra place extra place in the upper part if your house is like this way uh, then uh, there used to be some space so the frank family and van den's family hide in that uh, uh, an ex an extra place which was a uh, extra space in that uh, premises so it was called annex we secretly prepared to house both the frank and van den family so it was a place a good place to hide both the families early in july 1942 morgot frank was called up for deportation so in 1942 this uh, they they went into hiding in 1940 and in the july 1942 there was a notice for deportation of uh, margot the eldest elder elder daughter of uh, frank or to auto frank 
Straight away, the Franks moved into their hiding place and the Van Dans followed shortly afterwards. Four months later, they took into their camp to lodgings another Jew dentist. So, they in the four months, first Otto Frank went to hiding with his family to the annex. Then, the Van Dan family followed and they also took another Jew dentist into the annex for hiding in the same premises. So, um, this is what has happened in the year 1942 as Margot Frank was called up for deportation. Deportation means they will call them one by one uh, Jew for uh, to they call for concentration camps and they kill them. They, they kill. They uh, just to kill uh, in the concentration camp, giving them poisonous gas. So, it was a story state of the Jews in those uh, days. And uh, they, Margot, uh, Margot Frank was the first one to be called uh, for that uh, camp. But they refused. They refused to, to send him. They did not send Margot Frank to the concentration <coughs> camp. And they went on hiding in the annex. So, next uh, is the song bird in hiding. So, in my next video, I will discuss here this song bird in hiding. So, I hope you understood. Uh, read this much only. Only this much you read. Till the uh, ninth para you read. So, that for your better understanding. Don't go for further. Read for, till para number 19, 9, 9 only. And uh, try to point out who is Anne Frank. Who was her father and uh, what is the nature of Otto Frank and uh, when did uh, Hitler started his, uh, um, his uh, decree against uh, the Nazi uh, Jews, anti-Jewish uh, decrees and uh, why Margot was uh, called first, where, what is an extra and also you should learn uh, who were the, what is the interest of uh, Anne Frank. So, this you need to learn from uh, till 9th para, till 9th para only you read. Then later we will discuss about uh, her full story and how she was uh, killed, her interest, her love, everything we will learn in the later stages. For today's video this much is enough. Take care of yourself. Thank you.